uh, Klipsch Heresy HBR from 1980. This is a Type E crossover from Klipsch. Uh, like I said, they're from 1980. And anytime you get something that old, uh, uh, especially with capacitors, oil type capacitors in them, these capacitors start to go bad. And the first indication you'll hit, you'll see is you'll start seeing oil oil around the top of them, and that means they're leaking. Uh, this one I just took off the other capacitor and it's, it's dry as bone, so that one's still still pretty good. This one's leaking, uh, and eventually if this thing leaks too much, you'll, if it ruptures, you get oil all the inside of your bigger box. You don't want that. So when you get a new pair of uh, or a new pair of speakers off of eBay or Craigslist or whatever, uh, any type of the old uh, clip speakers, uh, go in there and look and see if they have this type of caps. If they have this type of caps. Take a look, and if you see any grease around them, this one's got this greasy around the top of it. It's got, it looks like somebody pulled a uh, vegetable or something like that. Look at the top of it. This one's leaking, this one's dry. Um, pretty common for a 40 year old uh, set of caps. What we're going to do today is replace those caps. These are known as Sonic caps, they come from uh, Bob Kreitz. As a store at Marcusaw, he's uh, well known amongst the uh, Klipsch folks for uh, for their parts from rebuilding crossovers, uh, other speaker parts, that sort of thing. Uh, Mr. Kreitz uh, sells these things off his website. I believe they're I don't remember. I think they're forty dollars a pair or something like that for the I think for the for all four for both. Uh, crossover. I think they're $45. You have to look at the website. I'm not sure. Anyway, you can replace these with these. So the first thing we need to do get spread dikes. Clip as close as you can. The old one. Assuming there's no corrosion or anything like that. Clip pretty close to it. That one's got a little bit of rust on it. That's why it has rust on it. But clip pretty close. I'm going to clip off that excess there. Doesn't look very good. Yeah, I think that's good. Alright. What we're going to do is so I don't get these two mixed up before I disconnect the other one, I'm going to take a pair of these heat shrinks and place them over the top. I'm going to go ahead and move that out of there. So it'll work a little bit easier. Takes a sheet ring, sheet ring, bleh, can't even talk. The heat shrinks over these two wires. So I'll disconnect the others. I won't put the shrink, heat shrinks over those so I'll know which is which. Plus it's a lot easier when you do to uh, solder, solder the new caps on. Um, you can slide those uh, heat shrinks up, shrink them around your new solder. And go ahead and cut these off. All right. There you go. Anyway, fortunately, Clips made these things very easy to work on. Old piece of wood. Just a Phillips screwdriver. Take these screws out. And keep those screws handy. This is what you're going to use to uh, put down the uh, the new brackets for the new caps. You use one. One for each new bracket, so you have a couple of couple of screws left over. Again, there's the uh, the old cap. You can see it looks like someone's poured uh, or someone spilled some uh, vegetable or something around the top of it. That one's leaking. You see any oil around that one? That one's still good. Don't know if I'd install it on something, but maybe if you want to, if you're the type of person that likes to keep everything original, that's a good thing to have around. Now, all this stuff you see here on the table, with the exception of the dikes and the screwdriver and stuff, the, the heat shrinks, the solder gun, the uh, heat gun, that all got it off all of Amazon, I think, for about uh, $40, $50 total. That's extremely cheap. Of course, when you buy cheap, you get cheap. So. If you're serious about your electronics, you know, spend the money you can do it right. 
case in point, Chinese wire strippers. These things are horrible, but uh, they'll get the job done. Now what we have to do, Mr. Kreitz supplies, when you order the parts, he supplies these little uh, brackets that you, uh, you can put them in the same hole as uh, the old caps are held down. These are the old screws that you got off the old caps. Another thing Mr. Price supplies you with is a pair of zip ties. You can get these zip ties to zip down the zip tie the new caps down to uh, the uh, brackets once you're everything soldered up and ready to go. You get a little extra wire here. I just clipped a little bit off extra off the end. I don't need that much. All right. A big sausage finger, so my. My solder is probably the worst you'll ever see on YouTube. Take your sleeve, slide it up over your new solder joint, and leave it there. Line her up. Get your sleeves on. Now you get your sleeves on. Crank up your uh, heat gun. You won't be able to hear anything if this thing's too loud, but you'll be able to see. It's a loose right now, but after I get done, they'll be nice and snug. Get your wires in place. Try to be a little careful because these things will they will break or they can break. that thing zipped down, clip off the excess. That was done. Now we just do the other one the same way.
Alright. Now you got both caps in place, clip out the excess, you have a completed crossover. And hopefully, back to factory specs. Hope this has helped you guys, and uh, if you got any questions, just leave them in the comments, and we'll see what we can do.